All right, you guys, thanks for a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about Poshmark and the way that I do things personally. Um, it's not to say that you should do the same thing because it's probably not, this is probably not what you should do, but it's the way I do things and the way I've come to get things done on a day-to-day -day basis. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And let's just jump right into it. I decided to make a new cover photo for my YouTube channel. And now it's 627 subs, so just want to say thank you very much to each and every one of you. Appreciate it, guys. So Poshmark's still doing pretty alright for me. Here's what's going out today. Just waiting on my driver to pick him up. Alright, you guys, something I just want to make note of real quick, because I noticed, and it's definitely something you're going to want to do as well, is that I, like for the past many months now, I haven't been sending offers to likers, and I'm not sure why I had stopped doing that, but it is very lucrative to be doing that, uh, sending offers to likers on Poshmark. So, and since I've been doing that, you can see that the sales have started rolling in for the past couple of days. Sold, 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 sold. And that's much better than I've been doing for the past few months now. Um, I've been averaging zero to one sales per day, so about uh, two sales every three days or so. And so a couple days I had one, two, three, four, five, six sales. And that's only because I started doing offers to likers the past couple days. And so that's really exciting. And I just wanted to let you guys know, definitely do offers to likers on Poshmark. What I do is once a day, I just go straight up to, I go to my news notifications, and then I go to likes, and then I go for the past day. I just hold the control button on my keyboard, and then click, 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 click. But if there's du duplicates, like see here and here, it's the same sweater. I'll just do one, of course. You don't have to do it twice. Keep that in mind. And so it'll send that up, whatever offer you choose to this person. And in this case, to this person as well. Anybody that has liked it since the past 24 hours. So yeah, anyways, guys, offers to likers, definitely do it. So I'll just show you real quick. If you don't know how, you should know how. So this, if you don't know how to do it, you just click on offer here, and then offer to likers. And then you have to have a shipping discount. I always choose a buck eighty. Always, 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 always choose a buck eighty. I mean, you can pay full shipping if you want, but like if you sell products that are like hundreds, hundreds of dollars, then yeah, go ahead and do free shipping, and then just make your offer a bit higher. But in the case of selling cheaper things, twenty bucks, I will always choose the lower option, and then I'll do about twenty to thirty percent off every time, and then I'll hit submit. Okay, now something else I do every day on Poshmark is. I go to my news and then I go to follows. And then what I do is I hold the control button down and then I'll click on the top six people. And then so I'll, I'll have their... So basically if you hold the control button down and click, it'll open in a new tab. And then I'll go to that tab. And then once I'm at the person's closet, I'll click on their followers. And then I'll hold the space bar down and let the entire thing load. Because if you don't, you don't get the full list because it uh, Poshmark loads chunks at a time so that it's uh, easier on their servers and quicker to load. And then I'll follow all of the closets that I am not yet following. And as you can see, I'm following a lot of closets already. Um, at this point, I've been selling on Poshmark for about 14 months now, and I'm currently following 303,000 closets. And so I do this for six people's pages I'll go to the next one, go to their followers list, follow anybody I'm not following it on there as well. And so I just do that for six people, six different closets every day. Uh, yeah, that's something I do. And please keep in mind that this is, this is just what I do and I'm not telling you that it's the best way to do anything because it's probably not. So as you can see, 303,000 followers and in return, I have 91,000 followers. I don't really share this information much. Posture Club, like on any other social medias, unless I'm asked, asked for it or something. It is in some of my YouTube videos, but I only have 630 followers, uh, subscribers on there. So like, I don't really share my closet info much anywhere. So basically my followers are coming from people I'm following as well as just the stuff that I have in my closet. So yeah, I'm not telling you to do this. Definitely not. If you don't want to, that's fine. You don't have to. It's just something that I want to do. All right. And something else that I do is when I go to my main closet, I'll go to priced high. And this is something that I always do, get rid of the solds, available only. And so then I start sharing from the bottom up. And then so I always have my most expensive items at the top of my closet. Now I'm not sure if this is the best way to go about things, but it's the way that I do things. And uh, 
it seems to be doing all right for me. So there's just a suggestion that you might want to start doing if you want. It's up to you. There's so many different ways that you can run, run and share your closet. I know that for sure. This is just how I've been doing things for the at least eight to 10 months now. And so real quickly through on this video, I also wanted to just thank the people that have used my username when they were signing up for Poshmark. So as you can see there, I have $30.05 in my credits. And so that's monies that I have received from people signing up to Poshmark using my username, and then they purchased something. And so I got either $5 or $10. The thing is, I actually had over 50 bucks, or I think it was exactly $50 US, because that's how many people used my username and bought something. I think it's like, uh, I don't know, eight to 10 people. Um, so thank you to all of you. I can't show you guys on desktop version, unfortunately. It looks like it, that only shows up on the Poshmark app. But yeah, something I wanted to mention is that if you have credits, you can actually use these credits towards, uh, if you have a package that's going out, for example, a bundle that's more than five pounds, it'll automatically use your credits to buy the heavier shipping label. Say so you need a six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 pound shipping label. So I sold a very expensive Helly Hansen two-piece outerwear jacket and bib about a week or two ago. And that was 10 pounds, 10.5 pounds actually, but I got the 10 pound label. And so you can see the 1995, I guess it was, it came straight out of my credits. So that was a nice little bonus for me because I don't plan on ever buying anything on Poshmark US because I would have to pay shipping and uh, I don't know, I just don't have a need to buy anything on Poshmark. So going forward, I'm happy to have this just in case I have a bundle that's more than five pounds or something and it won't have to come out of my bank account or, you know, my PayPal or whatever it does, I forget. But instead, it's like free, it's a free uh, label upgrade thanks to the people that use my username when they signed up. So thank you guys very much and uh, yeah. And so if you look at my photos, you'll notice that there's no pattern and that it just seems to be a, a mumbled like mess, a jumbled mess, sorry. Like you can see this one's not even the right color. The background's not even white. It's like yellowish because of the lighting. Um, you can see this one was on a table, flat lay, flat lay. This one here is on a mannequin with a messy background. This one's on a mannequin with a white background. So as you can see, total disaster. But the reason being is because I've changed the way I've taken photos on Poshmark over the past 14 months, multiple times. Um, it started off taking photos on the floor just for a couple items, I'll be honest. Like, I, got, I got over that real quick. And then I started hanging, which I don't even know if we'll see any that are hanging. And then I got a mannequin, really nice mannequin at the Goodwill bins for like two bucks. And so I started taking photos on the mannequin with a messy background. And then I got over that and used the mannequin with a white background. And then over time, after about six or seven months, or probably even less than that, I got fed up of taking photos on mannequins because it takes an excessive amount of time. It literally takes two times the amount of time to take photos of, a, of your clothing on a mannequin than it does to take a photo of them flat laid. So I got rid of that double time and went straight to just flat lays. So these two here are actually my newest photos. These are my newest products, some of them. And this one here and this one here. And so I think those look just fine without the mannequin. So I do have a mannequin now that I don't even use. So maybe I'll put that up for resale or something. But uh, yeah, and then this one was taken from somebody else for me. At one point I had some help. This one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. Those were all taken from somebody else. This one here. Uh, yeah. So that's why it's all like not the same. So I don't suggest, I do not suggest at all that you have no repetitive pattern going on if i'm being honest i wish all my photos were like this one here where it's a nice white background i don't even like these like where you can see the edge of the table that. i don't even like that so if they were all like this flatly i think that would be fantastic but yeah i just wanted to mention that at one point i, I was doing split photos but this was taking this was this would also double the amount of time it takes to make a listing because i would have to create that cover photo that has a split image Let's see if i can find another one where it looks better um, but i will be honest those ones sold very well um, I've ha i used to have hundreds of these listings with these split image like this so you can see I, I took a photo of the front and the back split it so you can see both right on the front cover there's another one there so those ones did sell quite well i still have lots left but i sold many Okay, something else that I do is I only share it to one party every day, and it's the party that happens at uh, my time, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 6, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, they have that party that happens once a day, and it happens every single day, and you're allowed to share every single one of your listings on that one. So that is the only party that I share all of my listings to, and I don't share any of my listings to any of the other parties that happen during the day. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there are four parties a day. I could be wrong by one, but yeah, that's just another thing that I do. And when it comes to Poshmark allowing you to do a uh, closet clear out, I no longer take part in closet clear outs because prices of my products are already very, very low and I can no longer afford to do closet clearouts. I mean, some products I could because I get my products for very cheap, 
my inventory, uh, mostly Goodwill bins. So like a dollar or two or 10 cents for hats, et cetera. But uh, I just, I used to take part in uh, classic clearouts and it does work. I'll tell you that right now. If you have like very high prices and you are able to lower them substantially after months of likes accumulating on those products, you have a very high chance of making 10, 20 sales in one day. If you do your entire closet as a closet clear out, um, you'll be very surprised if you have hundreds and, and hundreds of listings, like say 500 plus. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And real quick, if you're new here, as you can see right here, if you go to my closet, you can open that up and it's posture.club and it's, uh, yeah, basically, as you can see here, it's a posture knowledge hub. And this is my website that I created about a year ago or so. So if you go to Poshmark facts up here, that's the most popular page. And it gives you a bunch of facts about Poshmark and then you just click on it to open it. You know what? I don't know why there's an ad in every single one of them, but I'm definitely going to have to fix that because those are auto inserted by Google AdSense and there's more things you can do here. Yeah, okay, those ads are gone, <laughs> much better. I figured I'd pop this in real quick. These are my best sales on Poshmark to date. Now I'll, I'll be honest, this is not 360. Uh, this one went for about 100, 125, I think it was. This one was bundled with a hat and it went for 125. So those are two, those are my best sales right there. And then these ones I got, I got at the Goodwill bins for like a dollar. And look, they went for $95. This is for real. Uh, so is this one $95? That's a scuba hoodie. So keep in mind that you can sell some of scuba hoodies for very good money. Look at that. Um, this was a Dolce & Gabbana. This was my first sale ever and I did not receive this money in my bank. Somebody else in the U.S. got it in their bank because I was I was given the wrong bank number so that was unfortunate but uh, $90 sale there I, I picked that up for like $10 at a Goodwill thrift store and then I paid about 35 no $30 for this pair and I got 90 out of it 30 bucks Canadian I paid for this and sold it for $90 US keep in mind 85 for this one I paid like 25 for that one Canadian so that's a great sale for me as well uh 85 for that one Lululemon I love Lululemon $80 for that Lululemon bag I think I paid $10 for that one Canadian. This is a Harley Davidson new tags hoodie. I got 76 for that one and uh, I paid uh, tw I think 20 bucks Canadian for that one. There's a scuba hoodie there, 75. Scuba hoodie there, 75. Scuba hoodie there, 75. Supreme, I paid like 10, 15, yeah, $12 Canadian for this one actually. And I got 70 out of it, so that was awesome. There's another new tags Harley Davidson I got for 20, 20 to 25 bucks Canadian, sold for 67 US. This one I paid like 12 bucks Canadian for, and I got 65 for that one. Another Lululemon, a nice jacket, I got it for 65 sold. Another one for 65 sold. This one was very, very nice. Look at all this Lululemon I sell. Unbelievable. Gucci, 65 for those. I, this is the one I paid 35 for. I think I paid $15 Canadian for this. I played with closet sale. Got it for 60 US sold. This one I paid 10, 10 or 12 bucks Canadian for at a Goodwill thrift store. Super excited about that. And sold for 60 US. Yves Saint Laurent, paid about 15 Canadian for those ones, sold for 60. These ones are at the Goodwill bin, so I paid a dollar, 60 US. Scuba hoodie again, houndstooth, that was a very nice one, 58. Eddie Bauer jacket, got this at the Goodwill bins for about two dollars, for sold for 55, etc, etc. Look at all the Lululemon, Tory Burch, I got some Nike Air Force Jordans, Air Force One or whatever. Uh, I paid like ten dollars for those at Plato's Closet, and sold for 52 US. So Cinch, Lululemon, Lululemon, Metallica, those two sold as a bundle together for a hundred bucks. That was exciting. I got those at the Goodwill bins, I'm pretty sure. Scuba hoodie, Vetements, I got this for like a dollar, two two ninety nine Canadian, three bucks at the Goodwill thrift store. They definitely didn't know the brand. Uh, Vetements, if you don't know the brand, definitely keep in mind if you see it. It's worth very, very good money. $50 US. Look at this. I did the research prior. 450, 450 US dollars for a Vetamins hat. Extremely expensive brand. Burberry tie. I'm pretty sure I paid like 10 cents for this at the good old prints. I'm pretty sure I did. And I'm, I sold it for $50. This is Ronin. It's the higher end burden, I guess. It seemed like it anyway. So 50 bucks for the Taylor Swift sweater. Everybody else was selling this for 25 bucks or less. And I sold, I put it up for 50 and sold it while the other ones were still up for sale. So that's very awesome. Got that at Goodwill bins for like a dollar. So yeah, anyways, I'm going like, I'll scroll a bit. Look at all those scuba hoodies. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Poshmark has been amazing for me. Okay, so I just checked. I organized it by brand in my closet, what's sold. And there's 104 Lululemon products that I have sold in the past 14 months alone on my Poshmark. That is just insanity. I honestly did not know it was that many, 104. I'm going to count the, how many of those were scuba hoodies.
Wow, so like 40% of my Lululemon items that sold were scuba hoodies in the past 14 months. That is amazing. I'm really lucky to live in the province that neighbors British Columbia uh, because the Lululemon Athletica headquarters is located in Vancouver, BC, and I live in Alberta. So that is amazing. Um, I think like... I might continue selling Lululemon as well as just hats because moving forward, I'm thinking of just selling just hats because of how easy and how cheap I can get them, etc., and how well they sell. But I think I might do hats and the Lululemon. I really do. We'll see. Yeah, I just got another sale from an offer to like her that I just did. Very cheap, but hey, I'm happy. So I made three bucks twenty-five. I got to set the bins for like fifty cents. So a long time ago, and I wasn't selling, so they accepted the offer. See, there's my shipping discount, as you can see, because you always have to have a shipping discount on your offer to likers. And so they accepted, and always exciting for me to get a sale because, like I said, I usually only get zero to one sale per day, and today this is like my third or fourth. So it's very exciting. Make sure to do offer to likers, guys. And so real quick, I guess I can show you some of, some of my stats. As you can see, I'm not Fashion Ambassador, and that's because my shipping is a bit slower than other. Like, uh, I think I'm at like four days shipping due to the way I have to do things. But I've been doing okay with that for the past 14 months, and so I'm just going to continue doing it. And uh, so, yeah, keep in mind everything that I'm telling you is... And, and I'm not even a Passion Ambassador, nor have I ever been. So you're still able to do very well on Poshmark without that status. Um, but as you can see, I have 583 active listings at the moment, worth about 8,000 US. And there's my sales an analysis for the past 14 months. 1,118 sales with a total of 14,000 US dollars. After, after That's after fees as well. And yeah, you can see here. So August 17th was when I created my account. First sale. And when I started listing things, it was like uh, mid-October. First sale was October 17th, I think it was. 1839 in total listing, 91,000 followers. Oh, and that puts me on the top seller too, I guess. So that's exciting. I'm not sure what you need to be in top seller, but I'm sure many of you are already. And then as you can see here, Posture's recruited 37. And then I guess that would put me in a top recruiter, so that's kind of cool too. So 37 people I've recruited. And like, I think 10 or so, around 10 people have purchased something which also put five to 10 bucks in my credits. So I just want to thank all 37 of you for using my username when you signed up for Poshmark. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And so, yeah, if you can see here, if I go to my purchases, never have I ever purchased anything from Poshmark. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, but like, say you want to uh, relist something on Poshmark. So you have this window, I'll pop that off right to the side. Okay, so, so you have this window here and you have an, a listing in your closet that you want to relist or it was canceled and you want to relist it. You can actually take this and drag it onto here. However, that will not work if you're using Google Chrome, which like 90% of people use. So to get away from that issue, however, you can open up Microsoft Edge, which I never use. So if you use uh, Microsoft Edge, how do I sign in here now? Where is it? No, where's my login? See, oh, it looks like you're in Canada. Don't, don't you want to sign into Poshmark Canada? Nope. I do not. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that I have this open, you can go to sell on Poshmark here. So this is the one, this is the, uh, you're going to want to have the sell page open on internet, or sorry, what do you call it, Microsoft Edge, or a different browser that allows for it, something other than Chrome. I don't know if Firefox is going to work either, to be honest. But now, you can take your, and drag, and ta-da. Just like that, you can click the next one, drag, and just keep doing that. Now, I forget who I saw doing this, but because I did try doing this once, but I did not try a different window like this. Like I was trying Chrome to Chrome, but I did not realize that that was just a Chrome issue until I saw somebody doing it on uh, Microsoft Edge. Sorry, I keep wanting to say Internet Explorer, which is not the case. But so yeah, just keep in mind that you can actually just drag the photos because what I used to do is right click, save image as, save it to my computer and then open and then click here, upload photos. It took a lot longer than just dragging. So I just wanted to give that quick trick real quick. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, I just copy that, copy your description. And it, it goes really fast when you want to relist. It's crazy. I don't relist stale items. I just share, share, share. But if that's something you want to do, there you go. A little trick that you might not have known. All right, you guys, that's probably going to be the end of the show. Appreciate you guys stepping in to check out what I had to say about Poshmark and how I do things. Now, please don't take this as a, something that you should do or I don't know. I'm not trying to shove anything down your throat, if you will. Um, you do things the way you want to do, and that's how life is awesome. We all do whatever we want to do. And uh, we take suggestions, ideas from other people and make our own perfection, whatever that will be. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. 
really appreciate you guys and uh, i guess we'll just we'll see you on the next one take care